Hey everybody, it's Odd Dust, and welcome back into Only Cans, the Thirst Date. We're going through here, helping out these cans to achieve full climax, which is really bizarre, and learning about the She's Company. Last we read, Canada Shy was acquired, uh, made by a Russian company, spelled differently, and then they made so much money off Canada Shy, they bought the She's Company. Let's find out what's going on with Liquorlicious. Sounds gross. If it's black licorice flavor, that should not be a soda. She's Liquorlicious was a special flavor developed in 2012 as John She's the Third's preparation for the final party before Doomsday. Doomsday didn't happen, but Liquorlicious became the most requested She's flavor in clubs across the world. She's Liquorlicious is partier. Wait, is a partier though, and through and through. I can't read today. They literally cannot stop partying or they'll cease to exist. They know no pain or sleep or fear, making them the ideal party partner for any Friday night. Loves neon bracelets, waiting in line, rainy days and white shirts. Doesn't like self-preservation instincts, reading or daylight. Sounds like they're a vampire. All right, let's try it out. Drink some liquorlicious. What's up, party animal? What are you into? Nice glow sticks. First, we're gonna spray you down. Yeah, spraying you down. Now we're gonna snap it. And we're gonna spray. Spray. And spray. Spray. Snap. Uh, snap. Snap. Spray. 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 Oh, snap. I think I screwed that last snap. I think I screwed the snap. Oh. He's got a piercing. This can has a piercing. Some of them have had piercings. I don't I don't know. That wouldn't be very comfortable to drink. Got a C on that one. We're not doing hot. We did uh, pretty decent up here. We got B, B, A, B. And then now we've had a couple of C's. I'm getting a little too, uh, too excited, I think. She's Blueberry Tart was John She's the Third's very first formula, kicking off a 45 year long career in making soda. Blueberry Tart was a risk, but paid off in spades and created the monetary foundation for She's. His father wouldn't have approved of this flavor, but he died, so it doesn't really matter. She's Blueberry Tart is a brooding and mysterious type. They don't subscribe to the cultural norms and has their own dark flair with everything they do. If you can get past their moody exterior, Blueberry Tart will treat you right. Loves alt rock, black cats, and she's melon. Hates pastel colors, bland foods, and coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> I probably would not want Blueberry Tart soda though. Let's give it a shot. Hey. Hey, nice collar. Digging that. And the, uh, Safety pin. Uh, oh wow, you're enthusiastic. Uh, snap, 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 uh, spray, uh, snap, uh, spray. Oh. oh crap, I sprayed too soon. Uh, I sprayed too soon. Uh, there we go, there we go. Snappity uh, snap, spray, uh, spray, uh, snap, uh, spray. Snap. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it. Oh, I hit snap. We're supposed to be... Sp uh -huh. Wow. It's gonna explode. Looks like she's at a skate park. Tony Hawk skate park in the background there. Damn it. That was a D. That was terrible. Alright. Tiramisu. She's Tiramisu was a massive hit when it first launched in 2013, disappearing from shelves almost as quickly as it was stocked. The patented Cheese Freeze Storage Nitro from Cheese R&D allows for Cheese Tiramisu to be ice cold from the instant you open it to the moment you finish it. Cheese Tiramisu can seem a little cold and bitter at first, but they're sweet and fluffy. And once you get to know them, let their creamy texture envelop you as you bask in the world of pure bliss. Loves coffee, cafes, creative writing, and murder mysteries. Doesn't like meringue, the suburbs and people who say expresso instead of espresso. <laughs> she hates people who say expresso. 
Mmm, chica chica bow wow. Oh, wow, brown chicken, brown cow. Here we go. Uh, let's snap <sighs> that garter. And then we're going to spray you, <sighs> spritz you down, cool you <laughs> off, as it were. <laughs> Lots of spraying and snapping. Ooh. Here we go. Here about another snap. You like that? You like that? You like that spray too? How about a spray there too? Oh, oh. Mm, here we go. Mm. Look at that. We're at 13. We're at 13. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, dang it. I think there is some kind of timer to this too. Because I'm pretty sure we hit all those and we still got a B. Better than the last one, but still. Because she liked coffee, that uh, I think we clicked. <laughs> hmm, what the hell? Full madames, but madame, how do you even say that? Full madames, maybe? It looks like beans. They <laughs> it looks like garbanzo beans. The She's company fell on hard times after the departure of its founder. However, when John She's III returned, he brought with the, the investment money of the most prolific Egyptian businessman, Sahir Sheikh. Sahir Sheikh. The capital injection, John's sheer, sheer, <laughs> John's sure leadership, then this new addition to the company's soda lineup thrust She's to its original glory. Sahir Pliny satisfied with his investment now entertain john's request to gain access to the country's ancient relics she's full madame madames or madames i don't know uh has pleasured all regions of middle east from the bazaars of riyadh to the shores of the persian gulf now even you can experience what can only be described as the timeless taste of fava beans cooked with the finest of extra virgin oils from the fields. Ugh. Loves oil, Dubai, and taum, which is that white garlic sauce. It's just really good. I, I, I cannot say enough how good that garlic sauce is at Middle Eastern restaurants. Uh, hates secrets, bacon, Bebsy, and the letter P. I don't know what Bebsy is, but uh, let's try this fava bean soda. Sounds delish. Hello. Hey, how's it going, sir? Uh, let's do a snap and a spray. It's another spray, a snap, and then another snap, and then snap, and a spray, a snap, and a snap, snap. Damn it, we we screwed up our combo. We had a combo going and we screwed it up. Damn it. I like the music. Digging that. Digging the music. Got it. Nope. Nope. Screwed up the combo. Only getting a C on this one. When it starts going fast, man, I want to click it. <laughs> I just want to click it. We get a little too excited. Oh no. Oh no. Veggie broth. Oh man. Junior C's, she's and sons. What? <laughs> Vegetable broth with morphine. What the hell? Morphine? Is this like from like the ancient days? What the hell is this? Absolutely harmless. She's veggie broth was formulated in 1844 when She's's production facility broke down right before the charity ball, forcing John She's the first to think on his feet. He threw a few, a few fresh veggies and some expired chemicals into a nearby pot and the rest is history. It was reinstated as a modern flavor in 2013 upon John Sheese's the third's return. She's veggie broth might look traditional, but don't let their label fool you. They're up to, for new experiences and love being the loudest one at the party. They've got more stories than they can count, and some of them are actually interesting. If you're up for healthy, well-traveled partner, veggie broth is the one for you. Loves carrots, broccoli, and morphine, but hates fruit and fruit-based products. It's all about the veggies. All right, let's try the veggie broth. This does not sound good. What's your favorite vegetable? Mine's the aubergine. The aubergine. <laughs> uh, for those Oats. of you that are in America, that is the eggplant. Oh. Um, yeah, that's the. She's uh, this. This scans into the aubergine. <laughs> Um, I would say I eat more Brussels sprouts than anything else myself. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> okay, spray, spray. Uh, uh, there we go, there we go. Did I get that one? I did. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be quicker. You gotta be, you gotta be able to be quick. Otherwise, you're not gonna get those high letters. I don't know how I got S. I got an S back here on, uh, what flavor was that? Strawberry Kiwi was my jam. Uh, normally I would not like that. Taro, oh my lord. We're getting into some gross flavors now. She's Taro Teas was an exclusively released in Japan in 2014 as part of a marketing campaign for monetary sensation idol Naughty Doll, Naughty Doru, a self-proclaimed lover of taro bubble tea. The highly eroticized publicity stunt attracted the attention of conservative Western audiences who made calls to sabotage the brand's products. She's Holics, however, responded by further strengthening their support to the company. She's Tarot Teases' playful charms will make you blush. Every single one of their moves is profoundly erotic. They have a mysterious aura, though if you manage to get close to them, you may discover that it merely conceals their vulnerable side. They have been hurt many times before, but only because they love too intensely. Hmm. <laughs> Loves lace, bubble tea, shibari, and fairy lights. Hates Facebook, who doesn't? Kink shaming, long movies, and cold feet. <laughs> Hate they have those cold feet. All right, let's try out tarot teas. Oh, she's all tied up here. Um, okay, all tied up, huh? Spray. Snap. Snap. And snap. Spray. Spray. And spray. And snap. Snap. And snap. Spray. Spray. Damn it. Damn it. Mess that up. Um, spray. Come on. Snap, 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 and oh, dang it. I almost got to a B, I think. If I hadn't messed up that one, damn it. No, still had full can release. Three C's in a row, not too great. Ooh, jelly bean, here we go, here we go. Now we're back on track. <laughs> She's Jelly Bean was developed in 1983 following a years of John She's the Third's success in the business world. He wanted to branch out and formulated this special limited time flavor as a way to connect with the high ranking po politicians of the time. It was pulled from the shelves a few years later following a lawsuit from a popular jelly bean manufacturer. So it was probably for uh, Reagan if that's if you didn't know Ronald Reagan was uh, fond of jelly bellies. She's Jelly Bean is a strong and silent type who prefers to let their flavor do the talking. They might not have a lot to say, but they'll always show you a good time. Loves existentialism, tea, plants, and listening. Hates loud parties, chocolate, and trickle-down economics. Well, wouldn't be liking uh, Ronald Reagan then, would you? Getting political. <laughs> Um, what the hell of a noise was that? Is that the can grunting? Oh my god. This is disturbing. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Damn it. Screwed that one up. Yeah, I was doing good. Um, I was doing okay, but, uh... I think I need to get better at... Uh, oh, God, I did it again. <laughs> I think those grunts were throwing me off. I, uh, three C's and a D, man. Ugh. All right, it's fine. We're, we're just trying to unlock all these. <laughs> so many. Cherry bit of pud. That uh, does not sound good. Uh, She's Cheeky Bit of Pud was John She's third's first and only venture into holiday themed drinks. He had no idea it would be a mistake. <laughs> Cheeky Bit of Pud ruined the 2015 holiday season when the public loved it so much they couldn't eat their holiday dinners because they drank too much She's Cheeky Bit of Pud. It was pulled from shelves, 
following January, but remains highly popular on the black market. There's always room for a cheeky bit of pud. <laughs> Loves presents, custard, brandy cream, and Christmas. Doesn't like any other holiday food, New Year's parties, or she's tiramisu. Hmm. Wonder why it doesn't like tiramisu. It's kind of weird. A brandy cream. Would you want a bit of custard? <laughs> I'll take a bit of custard, thank you. Oh. Mm. Christmas, uh, Christmas sound in the background here. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Damn it. This guy is uh, not doing great. Not doing. I'm not doing good. Not doing good. Okay. Wait for it. Spray. Spray. And click. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn. That last one was a, supposed to be a spray and I hit snap. Damn it. Damn it. That's fine. Whatever. That's fine. Just trying to get to mustard. Ugh. Mustard. Oh, man. She's continued to use the She's brand name throughout the double lots, producing various ill-fated products. Oh, this is the Russian She's. She's mustard was heavily marketed to the Eastern Bloc countries such as Bulgaria, Albania, and Romania. Rumors that John She's the Third burnt down a Romanian corner shop when he saw the drink for the first time are totally unsubstantiated. She's mustard is a tart and tangy little drink that will add some much needed spice to your life. Some people find them overpowering, but if you can handle them, you're in for one of the most exciting experiences of your life. Love sandwiches, sausages, hot dogs, burgers, and rope play, and knife play. <laughs> Ooh, a little scary there. Uh, hates being spread too thin. Don't spread me too thin. Just wide. Bland food, and hates she's original. Doesn't like the original brand, huh? All right. Let's try out mustard. Hi, Oh, you're a you're a hot ticket there, mustard. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, yep. Got it. Uh, All the sprays and snaps. I got it. Snap it. Snap uh, it. Snap it. Oh, uh, doing good. Uh, Damn it. Uh, oh man. Uh, nope. Fuck. I got it. Oh man, I'm, uh, no, I was I was doing so good, and uh, then I just screwed it up. Uh, Damn it. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. No, it's the right. <laughs> keep it. Oh my god. Keep hitting the wrong damn button. Can't turn these cans on. Oh my god. Oh, it's going downhill. It's going downhill. It's because of these flavors. They're just not doing it for me. All the mayo, though. <laughs> Getting their mayonnaise. After a terrible sales of pineapple pizza and raw meat, the Russian executives decided to dial it back on the odd flavors and, in desperate attempt to keep hold of the direction of the company, they launched one last condiment-inspired formula. 2011's She's Mayonnaise was the last of the tone-deaf flavors brought to the She's shells before John She's the Third's triumphant return. So they made a pineapple pizza and raw meat flavor. Is that going to come up? That's got to come up, I'm right? That's <laughs> all the cheese is in here. Day or night, you will always find cheese mayonnaise grinding away at the gym. The one thing they love more than checking themselves out in the steamed up mirror in front of the leg press is a sweet, attentive partner to cuddle with and watch movies with. They may be known for bench pressing a man with their face. Wait, what face? <laughs> but beneath their well-defined pectorals, there's a tender heart. Loves egg whites, leg day, the smell of popcorn, an industrial techno <laughs> hates ketchup, damp towels, pulling a muscle, and baggy clothes. Hates baggy clothes, huh? Hmm. All right. Let's get in there and get that mayonnaise. Oh, you got some buff arms there, bruh. Okay, let's do better. Come on. We got this. Snap, snap, and snap. Spray, snap, spray, damn it, spray. At least I hit the right button. 
but uh, not at the right time. There we go. Okay. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Two at the end were bad. What did he say? I didn't hear what that one said. <laughs> we got that mayonnaise, though. We got that mayonnaise. Cold beet stew. That sounds definitely Russian. In 1999, Russian bootleg company Shee's put their own spin on the market of carbonated drinks. Inspired by a family recipe, Shee's cold beet stew became a major hit in the Eastern European market. John Shee's III, with visible wince of disgust, described the drink as coarse. But cold beet stew would, in time, allow Shee's directives to take hold of his company. She's cold beef stew is a demanding lover. Try as you might to impress them, it will not happen. Still, they have a weirdly irresistible know-how semblance and don't beat around the bush when it comes to rough play. A few rounds with them will be enough to create memories for to last a lifetime, for better or for worse. Loves bears, beats, Battlestar Galactica, and Beyonce. Everything starts with a B doesn't like monogamy, curry, or capitalism. No, it's Russian. Let's get in this borscht. Let's get up in that borscht. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I don't have high hopes for you, but prove me wrong. Hey, I don't have high hopes for me either. Oh. Da. Da. <laughs> da. Beat me. Oh. I, like, I like that she has a cigarette. Beat, Beat you? Wow. Da. Beat me. Okay. Oh. Beat me. Okay. Oh, beat me. Um. Da. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. Beat me. Oh. Mm. Eh. Eh. Oh. <laughs> eh. Mm. Okay, got a B. Oh, there we go. Well, mm. it was marginally better than my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Um, man, four cheese. We're almost to where they're all on the bottom here. We got one more to go, and then we got the bottom section. She's four cheese was the first drink launched after the Russian company She's acquired She's in 2001. Emboldened by the relative success of their previous unique formulas, beet juice and Canada shy, the new direction of the company began with She's four cheese, a series of controversial yet interesting new flavors. She's Four Cheese was surprisingly well received in Northern English market, where it became a traditional drink on Plow Monday. Hmm. She's Four Cheese is strong personality, but everybody enjoys them, whether in small nibbles or gooey cascades. Warm and outgoing, they have a way of making everyone feel comfortable around them and prefer to focus on the good and simple things in life. Their puns may be a bit tacky, but their guffaws are contagious. Oh man, here we go with the cheese puns. Loves puns, charcuterie boards, Coen Brother movies, who doesn't? And racelet parties. What's that? What's a racelet party? Hmm. Hates running politics, mustaches, and cynicism. Hmm. Cheese for cheese. Let's uh let's get on in there. Oh, hello. Hey. How are you doing? I am you doing must good. Bring the talk of the town. Okay. Oh my. Snap. Snap. Oh my. Snap. Oh. Snap. Oh. Snap. Oh. All the snaps. Oh. Spray. Oh. Uh, spray. Oh. Spray. Oh snap. Oh. Damn it. Snapped. I snapped instead of sprayed. Oh. Damn it. Oh my. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Not going to get you off that way. Oh my. Oh. Okay. Spray. Oh my. Spray. Snap. Oh. Snap. Oh. Spray. Oh dear. Snap. Oh. Oh, dang it. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, you rock fort my world. I rock fort your world? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tangy ketchup. That's gross. Now, I like ketchup, but not in a soda, I'm sure. I can guarantee you. She's did not learn their lesson from the ill-fated mustard in 2004 as they formulated She's Tangy Ketchup five years later. While slightly more popular, it was still an abomination to mankind. 
Shea's Tangy Ketchup is still largely popular with people who barbecue in their backyard. Shea's Ketchup is down to earth, cheeky, chappy. They always know just what to say and where to go and know all the best spots in town and still have smoking areas. <laughs> They're not the kind of soda to bring home to your parents, but they are the kind of soda that will show you a good time in the back seat. Loves cigarettes, cars, bacon, horse races, and bedding. Hates she's mustard. Clean bathrooms and meetings. I'll tell you what, you get the she's mustard and the she's mayonnaise together with the she's ketchup, you got yourself a party. Let's get in there. Well, hello. Hello. Another Russian, I think. Uh, okay, starting off with oh. spray. Oh. Oh. Snaps. Oh. And then some sprays, a couple of sprays, a couple of snaps, another spray, a snap, 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 and spray, snap, and spray, and spray, and snap, snap, and spray, snap, and spray, and, spray, and, spray, and, spray, and oh, that is gross. I don't like how the how the top of this can looks with the, with the cigarettes. It's just disgusting. We got an A from Tangy Ketchup. How is it that we do so good on mayonnaise, cold beet stew, and ketchup? That's just, it seems gross. I don't, I don't get it. All right, we're at the bottom section here. Pineapple pizza's next. Continuing to abuse the She's company name, She's pressed on with her bizarre attempts to create fast food flavored soda well into the late aughts. She's Pineapple Pizza was released in Europe and Americas to mix success in 2008. One soda connoisseur called it the punchline to the joke that is the modern She's line of sodas. Not everyone is a fan of She's Pineapple Pizza, but those fans are loyal and always happy to spend time with them. An entertainer at heart, She's Pineapple Pizza will do whatever it takes to put a smile on your face. Pineapple Pizza is always clowning around, cracking jokes, and making delicious cream pies. Now, I, uh, I do like pineapple on my pizza, so I don't eat pizza anymore. But when I did, I wouldn't uh, shy away from a pizza with pineapple on it. So, suck it, people that don't like that. <laughs> Love squeaky toys, laughter, dancing, throwing pies. Hates lions, tiny cars, acrobats, and she's ketchup. Well, everyone hates she's ketchup, so I mean, come on. That's gross. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Would you like a pinther? Or maybe a joke? <laughs> a pinther? Oh my lord. Oh, oh, my. oh my god. This is a clown. Oh, clowning oh, around here. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Um, okay, and snap, snap, spray, spray, snap, damn it, I hit, damn it, I hit the wrong button, didn't, didn't, damn it. This pizza's about to get tall. <laughs> pizza's about to get what? And I couldn't understand. Pizza's about to get something. I don't know what the raw meat flavor. Here we go. We knew this was coming, people. And here it is. She's raw meat was one of the final nails in the coffin that spelled the end of the She's Corporation. Desperate to try and capitalize on recent health conscious crazes of the time, She's attempted to produce a protein soda that would be marketed towards young and middle aged adults. Unfortunately, due to several mistranslations, she's raw meat was not well received because nobody wanted to drink something that sounded like it tasted like raw meat. She's raw meat might look a bit unpleasant, but inside beats the heart of a passionate lover. If you can look past the less than seller reputation they built for themselves, you might find something special there. She's raw meat like steak, lamb, cottage pie, chicken, eggs, and octopus rings hates vegetables, emotional vulnerability, and brand managers. Brand managers. Let's see what we can do with raw meat. Mm, meaty. Meaty. What is this? Is this an octopus tentacle? Meaty. Gross. Uh, meaty. Damn it. 
I, I sprayed when I should have snapped. Meaty. Or vice versa. Meaty. Mm. Oh. Meaty. Okay. Meaty. Okay. Slow it down, slow it down, make sure we get it right. Mm. There we go, there we go. Nope, nope, missed that last one. Oh, we got a B. Now we got a B. There we go. Rami Sardine Surprise. Oh, God. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a soda can. The hell? Cheese Fisheries. What the hell? In 2017, John She's the Third announced that She's LLC would be diversifying the business into fisheries, submersibles, and ocean exploration, stating in Lime Magazine, the seas are bountiful place. There have been more people on the surface of the moon than to the bottom of Mariana Trench. In my years traveling the world alone, I've learned much about what waits down in the abyss, what they left behind for us. And now with cheese fisheries, we shall bring it all to the surface for my son. It's literally a can of sardines. What do you want from me? <laughs> Loves the ocean, hates the land. Um, well, this is weird because, um... Come, matey. Time to play with me, Jolly Roger. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah, laddie. Oh, my lord. Yar. Yar. Mitty. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. Uh. Oh, 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 Mitty. Bucko. Bucko. Oh. Mm. Mitty. Come on. Oh, 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 Mitty. Yar. They're pretty forgiving here with these uh, clicks on some of them. Clear the deck. There she blows. <laughs> Clear the deck. There she blows. It's still soda coming out of there. It's not sardines. Uh, maybe in a, a future patch, there will be sardines coming out. I don't know. Two more to go. Factory Rust. That's in Russian for sure. In late 2019, investors in Shees were shocked to find that John Shees III had been quietly selling off Shees production facilities all across the world to help fund a very important secret project. Due to the sudden lack of supply, the board was forced to reopen the old cheese factory in Russia. Regrettably, the dilapidated machinery could only produce one flavor, rust. Cheese factory rust is a party animal, living every day like it's their last. They love to get down and dirty and aren't afraid of a little mess. Sure, they're kind of rough around the edges, but with enough work, you can wear them down. Loves grime music, dirty talk, partying, the rain, and urban exploration. Hates cleaning, being tied down, the quiet, and life. <laughs> Hates just just life, straight up life. Let's try some factory rust. Sounds yeah, terrible. What? It's a rusty can, okay. Let's snap that can and spray it down. Snap it. And then uh, snap it again. Spray it. And spray it. <laughs> And spray it and snap it and spray it and snap it and spray it and spray it and snap it and spray it and snap it spray it snap it snap it and spray it and snap it and snap it and snap it oh oh dang it I was thinking that we're gonna get an A on that one dang it dang it look at that that's just gross well mm -hmm. done. You've experienced all there is to do at the She's collection. Okay. Please don't go searching for any more cans while you're here. There's one more can, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, it said don't. It begged us not to do this. She's Thirstborn is a long-awaited result of Project S, successfully completed in 2020 by John She's the Third in order to resurrect his long-dead son. After years of steering, stealing shareholder money for the secret project, is finally being unveiled to the world. John She's the Third sacrificed cans of She's Lemon Party 
personal connections, millions of dollars, and even his own life to build this prototype. Both can and human soul combined in one perfect organism, it was the first of many. She's thirstborn is unknown. They should be approached with caution. Please reconsider. Instead of firstborn, it says thirstborn. So <laughs> he's trying to resurrect his dead son. Loves the color of your eyes, the breeze through their hair, and the warmth of lamps. Hates being trapped in an internal excruciating limbo between life and death. Is this uh, what he was trying to find in the Mariana Trench? The music went away and is no longer pleasant. There is blood seeping out of this wet box. Let's uh, let's see what we get, what we're getting ourselves into here. Is that you, Father? <laughs> Father, you made me. The oh, flesh and the can oh wine. no! I feel my insides fizz. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> snap! Uh, okay, snap! Mm, we're snapping you. I feel stronger. Okay, well I'm gonna try to get you I to. I will be CEO. Try... <laughs> I will nice. be CEO. Damn it. Nice. Okay. Come on, we got this. We got nice. this. Here we go. I feel the soul growing. <laughs> I feel the soul growing. <laughs> Your flesh is weak. Father. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I don't know. Nice. I don't know about this. This is I don't know what's oh. happening or what's coming. Oh no. Oh no. Do we really want to see it? Oh, it's glowing. <laughs> The flesh shall grow. <laughs> Are you proud of me, Father? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you for playing Only Can's Thirst Date. We are incredibly sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, you can't fast forward through this. Well, there we go. We watched this in the last one. She's LLC is not responsible for any health issues caused by experiencing our product, including mm -hmm. but not limited to heart attacks, loss of sanity, impotency. After that wind, last thing, loss, I'm definitely death, losing some sanity. Heartbreak, heart removal, lung collapse, pre little heartbroken over that last can. Liver syndrome, lots of hair. Laughter. If you experience an erection for longer than four hours after using this product, then what the hell is wrong with you? Seriously. <laughs> Oh my gosh. She's feel the fizz inside you. She's. Well, there it is. <laughs> Only cans thirst date. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, playthrough and read through. Welcome to Only Cans. I, uh, Click here to experience cans. I was definitely it's a free it's a free game if you'd like to experience it with your family. <laughs> Download this and plug the laptop into your TV out in the living room and show grandma a good time. If you liked my read through of this game and you enjoyed this, uh, like would be appreciated. Make sure and hit subscribe so you can see when I post new videos. Everybody have a great night and drink some soda.